Now, Julius, this is an Extron CCI Pro 700. Now, what does that first look like to you? Well, it's a teleconferencing interface of some kind. Yeah, yeah, it's immediately recognisable. You've yeah. got the numbers, you've mm. got the red phone, you know, the, the green phone, go, stop, hang up, conference. And that's the thing. That's exactly what it's designed to look like. But it's actually... Not. I mean, it is, but it's actually if it was, much more than that. If it was just that, then the review, review would now be over. <laughs> it, would, it would be over. But, we, <laughs> but wait, there's more. Yeah. Now, what Extron are thinking here is, and this is a, a theme that's emerging in the AV industry at the moment, is about the end user and the end user interface. Basically, there's a race on at the moment now that, let's say, a lot of the back end issues of how to move signal around and control it and put it on networks are, are basically solved. Mm. How do you then differentiate and make the best possible product for the person who's actually got to use it? And considering what we're looking at putting this into is you know, boardrooms and conferences and places where basically people without an AV background or any kind of knowledge of the area work, yeah. what you want to do is you want to make it as easy and as natural as possible. So yeah. this is actually a controller. Now, there are speakers built in and a microphone, and yes, it, you can function as a phone. You can dial from here. Mm -hmm. But you can then use this to control basically anything. Right, I see. And yeah. it's power over Ethernet, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, PoE. So we've got a Cisco switch here running PoE. Yeah. Now, it's uh, hooked up to a very small uh, Extron controller. So it'll work with any of the IP link series uh, yeah. from Extron, and that's where all the action is really happening. But what you can do here is then completely customize everything about this. Like, mm. uh, this is a default uh, setup of these soft buttons. But here, you know, display on, display off, turn the TV on and yeah. off, switch over to the PC, the laptop, turn on the so video. So presumably we can, we can operate the blinds. You can do all of that. Whatever the heater, program. whatever you want. Yeah. Um, you can. You've got custom buttons here. Again, you can have multiple screens doing all yep. sorts of things. You can have a phone book in there. It, you can, if you've got dedicated video conferencing equipment, it can talk to that. If you want to use soft codecs, like you want to use Skype for Business mm -hmm. or whatever it is running in the computer, you can talk to that. Uh, basically, you're not limited to uh, you know to to anything. And yep. it. The whole point is it still looks and feels like a fairly nice looking, this would look pretty much at home on any boardroom table. Like it's a, it's a nice looking interface. It's not a touch screen or an iPad and, that's just been And this is where down. the business happens. Yeah, and that's all hidden, you know, yeah. back of house somewhere. And again, that's PoE as well. Yeah. Does this take, does this take analog audio in? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that, well, that's the, that's the processor, but you've got a whole environment of different uh, yeah. devices hooked up. But again, you could be talking to pretty much anything. Okay. And, but, and, and that's the beauty of it. Mm. It makes talking to what could be a very complicated and extremely widely distributed network of devices, as you were saying, the blinds and everything, really, really easy. Well, you downloaded the software, so how, what learning curve was required to get this going? Look, if you've got a background in DSP processing, and if you've got a background in system design, it's basically a matter of you know, putting components into the controller, putting you know, graphic elements into the screen. Can I do it? Uh, no, but you've not had a lot of experience in that. But it mm. really wouldn't. It would take me about half an hour to get you up and running. I'd say oh, uh, to, to a not to a beautiful standard, but mm. to a, to a it could you could get it going standard. So yeah, I mean Extron's environment's pretty robust, and when you do do stuff like that for Extron, they train you. Yeah. So um, that's why they've got such a good you know locked in system from beginning to end. Good. So yeah, this is um, this is where they're headed. It's it's all about differentiating by making the user experience as good as possible. Mm. So yeah. Nice. Yeah, now if you like that, please like us down here and share us with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.